Yeah, I'm Stu and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to end a song cleanly that doesn't involve a fade out got here. So I've basically got six little stock clips here. If I just play it through for you. I've just got the volume a little bit lower so you can hear me but also hear the music. So just some family shots here, nothing exciting. I haven't done any special cuts or anything. You can hear the music. And then as we get to the end, on the last clip, it will start to fade off. And that's a kind of standard way of cutting a song so that it fits your track. Because obviously, as you can see here, it's a two minute song and there's a lot going on. But let me show you a cleaner way of actually doing that. So what I'm going to do first of all, is I'm just going to go in and reset the audio by removing keyframes. So we've got audio right the way through. Let's check that's happening. The end that. That's fine. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the end of the song. Now I've already marked off here where I want to make the cut where you make your cut in your song, kind of comes down to matching the waveforms and the beat as best as possible. Now this is more kind of art than science. So you zoom in as far as you can and then find a place where you want to make a cut. So for example, I can just cut here and then I can get rid of this part of the audio. And then I'm just gonna pick up this track here, go to clip, I'll drop it in below around about here. Now, what we want to do now is just shrink the timeline down a little bit and just bring this ending piece so that it roughly matches up to the end of the video. Snapping in, and then from there, we're going to make a cut on the audio on top. Get rid of this tail end section, we don't need that anymore. And then all you've got to do is cut at the beginning of where you've got your audio and then just move it up and overwrite the track that's there. Hopefully, if you've done it well enough, what you've got is the music playing through. And obviously, this is a short piece, but it just gives you a general flavour. So if we play it through, and you see a cut on the beat. Because you're using the end of the song, it's a much more natural way to finish things off rather than you fading out, you're letting the artist fade out the way they wanted to in the first place. So there you go, it's just a quick tip on using audio to its full advantage by taking the last segment of the song and moving it into the ending of your actual video and then just balancing up the two audio clips so that they basically play through each other and make sense. I'll just give it one more go. And you get the natural ending. And this works much better than doing a simple fade out, which is useful in some cases, but this is a cleaner way of working. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video.